So there was also some news that pretty much broke right after we went off the air on Thursday. Because we haven't done a show since Thursday because That's true. of construction yeah. around yeah. here. And that was that uh, the final college football vacancy in the state of Texas, we presume, assuming, <laughs> right, assuming Art Bryles doesn't get bored and yeah. is like, uh, I think I'm going to go coach, like, basketball in, yeah. like, New York. Yeah. Um, Are there any NFL jobs open still? I don't think so. I think Philadelphia was the last one, right? Yeah, and the 49ers yeah. and all that. I don't yeah, think Yeah, but that's 49ers have been filled, Browns have been yeah. filled, and then the, the Eagles just filled think, their job. Yeah, I don't think there's okay. any open right so now. So we don't have to worry about right, one of our guys the, getting poached. The final college football job in the state of Texas has been filled, and it has been filled at the University of Texas San Antonio, yeah. better known as UTSA, and it is filled by yeah. Frank Wilson. Uh, so you might be asking yourself, "Hey, self, who is Frank Wilson?" Mm-hmm. Well, if you've if you've read the headlines, then you know that he is he was the kind of he was a running backs coach and kind of assistant head coach to Les Miles at LSU. Yeah. So first and foremost, he was Leonard Fournette's coach. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that's pretty good. Pretty, Can he bring Leonard Fournette with him? Pretty, pretty, is there... It's interesting. You know, I'm going to look into that. I'm going to call right. the NCAA okay. and see what yep. they think about that. Let me know. Uh, but UTSA picks up Frank Wilson from uh, LSU. Uh, who is Frank Wilson? Well, for one thing, if you are looking for a guy with head coaching chops, you're barking up the wrong tree. Right. This is This is a... Coordinator promotion yes. is what this is. This is uh, North Texas going and hiring Seth Luttrell. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a guy that uh, that has this will be his first collegiate head coaching job and his first head coaching job of any kind uh, since he left uh, Walker High School in New Orleans in 2003. So yeah. New Orleans guy, hey, hey. man after your own heart. Yeah. Um, We'd have a few things to talk about. Uh, between that, he had been at Old Miss. Yeah. Um. It, as uh, various assistance uh, ships, uh, at Ole Miss, Southern Miss, uh, Tennessee under Lane Kiffin, and then LSU. He's been at LSU for the past five years, six years. Uh. So what is he? What is he all about? I'll tell you what he's all about. Is that he is a recruiting wizard. Yeah. This is a guy who has earned his stripes, yeah. being a. He's he is the recruiting trump card, is what he is. Okay. It's hard to argue with the track record. There's there's that. For in sure. 2011, he was Rivals.com's recruiter of the year. Yeah. In 2014, he NFL.com named him the top recruiter in college football. Right. Uh, in 2015, Scout.com said he was the SEC recruiter of the year. This is a guy who knows how to get out there, and he is he is Winston Wolf. Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. He is the Winston Wolf of recruiting. I'll buy that. The guy who comes in and he just takes care of business. Sure. Now, let's also point out that he was recruiting at Ole Miss. Okay. He was recruiting at Tennessee. Yeah. He was recruiting at LSU. And as much as we like UTSA, right. they're not on that same level. No. Okay? No. The, the, the – the things that UTSA and LSU have in common right now are that they have football programs. That's true. That's basically it. Those are facts. And so the other thing about him, uh, the, the other thing about Frank Wilson, is that he does not have Texas ties pretty much at all. None. He's never coached here. But when you, you know, my question is, do you give him the regional benefit of the doubt? He's right. a New Orleans guy. Yeah. Can okay. he bring those Louisiana players over? He's a Houston New- players yes. over. And we know how much LSU likes to recruit in Texas. Right. We know how much Tennessee has recruited right. recently in Texas. Yeah. We know how much Ed Orgeron, when he was These at... These are uh, not unfamiliar grounds right. by any stretch of the imagination. Right. He has not... this when he, come, when he came to Texas for his press conference, that wasn't his first trip across no. the state border. No. He'd been here. Yeah. So that's kind of a big question right. I have, is how does that recruiting um how does that recruiting stronghold that he has yes. in louisiana yes. how big is that does that extend all the way across texas uh we've we've mentioned how good we think this utsa job is yes because if you are just able to 
adequately recruit San Antonio, you can do a lot of good things. Yes. I'll also say that I think it's interesting that they go get a running backs coach. He coached running backs at LSU. He coached yeah. running backs at Southern Miss. He coached running backs at Ole Miss. Okay. Well, they just happen to have a pretty good running back down they, there. They, yes. They also, they just so happen to have a, a, a pretty good running back. <laughs> and the other thing is, when you think about San Antonio area prospects. This is a great point. This is good. Yeah. You think of two things. Yeah. You think of front seven players. Yep. And, and you think backs. of running backs. Running backs, absolutely. And so here is this guy yeah. who can walk into a recruit's living room yeah. in San Antonio and say, hey, you're a superstar running back at uh, uh, Brandeis. Yeah, Brandeis. You're a superstar running back at Brandeis. Sure. Why don't you go look at the running backs that I've coached? Yeah. Why don't you go look at those guys and tell <laughs> me uh, what you uh, what you think? Uh, now I'm interested to see how he fills out his staff. Of course, oh, uh, yeah. he'll have to. He'll have to. He's pretty much clean house. Yeah. Everyone, pretty much every assistant is gone. So he's yeah. going to build his own staff. Yeah. He's almost certainly going to bring on a San Antonio or a, a Texas high school football coach. You would think so, right? It'll be interesting to see which one. Because we need another domino to fall in that regard. Yeah. Or who or how many? Yeah. The other thing about it, and the other thing that that's super interesting to me, is that I don't know what his offense is going to look like. Right. Now, you would assume, coming from LSU right. and being a running backs guy, yep. that this is going to be, clo- let's put it this way, closer to what UTEP, UTEP is running yeah. than yeah. Baylor, Baylor okay, sure. or yeah. TCU. Right. You have to assume that they're going to go more ground and pound. Right. Uh, but... I think that what's what's interesting about Frank Wilson is that we don't necessarily know. Uh, he could say, "Yeah, we want to run the ball, but we also want to be, you know, we want to be a more pro style. We want to be a balanced attack." Uh, he may go spread. He say, you know, he may say, you know, the 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 recruits that we can get are is best suited to spread them out and, and do that kind of stuff. Because you know, because the at LSU you're going to have a better offensive line than yeah. you're probably going to be able to get for the foreseeable future at UTSA. Um, I think that uh, uh, the other another interesting thing, and I brought this up uh, when Everett Withers was hired at uh, Texas State, this is now, uh, he's now the fourth black head coach in yeah. the state of Texas. Pretty amazing. So a full third of the coaches in the state of Texas are black. Not bad. Um, and I'll tell you that I would, I have not been able to confirm this, but I would bet that that's the first time that's ever happened. I would think so. We, we, we kind of went through this at the end of last week trying to think who back. would, who would, what states would be, uh, Florida would have a shot. California. California. Yeah. Those are pretty Those much are really the, the only, only states yeah, with that have schools. enough FBS yeah. teams to do it. And, yeah. but I would, I would go on and wager that this is the first time that any state has ever had four black FBS coaches in the state. You would think, um, as far as what I think of the hire, uh, you know, the jury's out, I think, yeah. uh, because he's never really been a head coach. Now, he was a dynamite uh, he was a dynamite hi- high school coach, but that was a yeah. decade ago. Yeah. Um, and it was high school. Yeah. And coaching in high school and coaching in college are two right. very different things. Ask Todd Dodge. But if you are looking for, f- to me, this is a guy that they brought in because he knows how to get athletes on campus sure he knows how to get his guys there once yeah. what they do once they get there yeah i don't really know yeah but i'll tell you that the recruiting will be will take a step forward for utsa yeah almost certainly just because this guy is the winston wolf of recruiting yeah uh, the other th- uh, you know they had to make a hire quickly we've mentioned that on the show that they had to make a hire very quickly um because signing day is right around the corner. Signing yeah. day is a mere what, thirteen days away, something like that. Ooh, I mean, it's, it's, I cannot believe it is that close. It's already, coming down yeah. the pike. Yeah. Um, so they need to they need to make a hire very quickly. Yeah. I still don't like their chances of putting together a great twenty sixteen class. The timing of this was, just, I mean, it just they, it they made them. it harder on themselves. Yeah. yeah. I still don't like their chances of putting together a great twenty sixteen class. Yeah. And you know what? If you're Frank Wilson, you're probably thinking that. You're going, you know what? This this class is a wash. Yeah. It's just it's just a wash. But starting in twenty seventeen, I would not 
uh, starting with the 2017 class, rather, I would not be surprised if you start hearing um, kind of like what Houston's been doing. Right. That there, that one or two super big name prospects. Kind of surprising. You're like, wait, they're UTSA. They're going to UTSA. Right. Why? Why is that? And it's because this guy's got recruiting chops. And uh, I'm interested to see what his offense looks like. I'm yeah. interested in seeing what the on-field product looks like. Because we question. know we have a pretty good feeling of how he's going to be able to fill that locker room. Yeah. And it's going to be with a lot of talent. Yeah. So how are they able to use that talent on the field? That's what remains to be seen for me. Yeah. Which hire do you like more, Texas State or UTSA? Right now, I probably it, – it's weird – you would go if you – I think there's a reasonable argument for both. If you say you like Texas State's higher better, it's because you look at what Everett Withers has done as a head coach and you go, that guy's just a winner. Yeah. He's just a guy who wins. Right. And, and he's got he's got the on-field chops. Yeah, he's recruited everywhere and he's won everywhere. And he's won everywhere, yeah. period. If you go – I think that Frank Wilson's a little bit more of a, of a wild card. Yeah. He's a little more high-risk, high-reward. Um. The there is a possibility that he doesn't know what he's doing once he gets out on the yeah. field as far as putting together a, a game plan. Yeah. That's a possibility. Probably a pretty slim possibility, yeah, but not, there is a possibility. Uh, yeah. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. But we do know that he's going to be able to bring in big-time recruits. Yeah. And so if you are a recruit, Nick, you probably look at Frank Wilson and say, that's the hire I like. Yeah. If you're a guy who, who wants to see the proof in the pudding and you want to see, uh, you know, a guy with a track record yeah. as far as a head coaching in college is concerned, yeah. then you go uh, with Everett Withers. Sure. I think they're both solid hires. I have a few more questions about Frank Wilson than I do about Everett Withers, if only because I think Everett Withers is a little bit more, we have more evidence on Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So uh, all the Texas college football coaching jobs are filled. We have our 12 for next year. Off we go. Almost, almost certainly. Almost certainly.